Hey there, Digger Bob here again. Yeah, I know it's been a while since I've done a video, but this one is a little bit different. This one is going to be informational rather than instructional. I've got something to show you that you have never seen before. And uh, I know that's quite a statement, but I want you to think about something for a minute. How many of you, well, let's put it this way. Why do we do what we do? What do why, why do we pursue this, uh, the, the, the treasure in all its various forms? What is the point? Do we do it for the fun and the exercise? Or do we do it for, you know, a little bit of history, for that unusual find? No, we do it for the dream. And the dream is a dream of striking it rich. I'm about to show you something that will make you a believer that it is still possible. Okay? This was found right here in Northern California. Uh, in July of this year 2014 did not come from Australia didn't come from Alaska or some other strange foreign land It was found right here in Butte County in the mother load This is uh, this is an extreme example of a, of a life changer a retirement piece uh, It's like hitting the lottery uh, It's a once in a lifetime once in several lifetime things that's going to happen So without further ado, are you ready? I want to show you what this is. That's right. It's a gold nugget. And it's not just any gold nugget. That is a solid placer nugget, not a specimen, no quartz. Six and a quarter troy pounds, 75 troy ounces. And it was found right here in Butte County. And as you can see, it's well water-worn, uh, but it was not found near any present water course. At one time, millions of years ago, it was eroded out of a vein and deposited in one of the ancient rivers of the time, which we now call the Tertiary Channels. It was found near some old workings, but not in the workings themselves. We suspect it was deposited in a small feeder creek or a stream that fed the main channel. There were some shallow workings nearby, some ground sluicing and possibly some dry washing, but nothing of any significance and it was found with a metal detector at a depth of only 12 inches. So I can hear your first question now, ooh, what detector was that found it? Well, as much as it pains me, we have decided not to reveal the make or the model of the detector. Uh, for one thing, all that would do is just start a pissing contest between manufacturers and users and trying to take credit for it and owners going neener neener, mine's better than yours. Uh, but the fact is that any halfway decent detector could have found this, even a cheap coin machine, due to its size and depth. So the real difference and the credit here is not the detector, but the user. You want to see what a huge nugget sounds like? Let's show you. We'll use this detector as an example. That's what it sounded like. A great big old piece of trash, a tin can, a horseshoe, a big piece of pipe, some big piece of junk. Now, how many of you would actually have dug a signal like that? <laughs> yeah, not very many. I know I probably wouldn't have. But the finder is an experienced prospector. He has uh, he owns several machines. He knows how to use them. He. Uh, he knows what to look for out there in the field. He knows the ground. He knows, uh, he knows the conditions. He knows his geology. And he had found already several smaller nuggets in the same area. So he decided, I'm going to dig this big piece of trash and get it out of the way. Well, can you imagine what, can you imagine what he said when this started to reveal itself coming out of the ground? Yeah, well, I can't repeat what he said, but you can imagine. <laughs> so anyway, so what's it worth? Well. It has been consigned to Kagan's Auction House. They're going to be having a big show in October in San Francisco of this year, 2014. So that's just next month. The focus of the show is going to be on the gold rush. They're going to have uh, several uh, artifacts and uh, things related to the gold rush, including the, uh, the Saddle Ridge Horde. This nugget is going to be prominently displayed in that show. It is going to be... Uh, subjected to uh, national publicity. It'll probably hit the national news wires. 
very soon. Um, but just as an aside, just so you know, um, <laughs> what you're seeing now, when you see this video, uh, it is no longer in our hands. It's no longer in the hands of the finder. It is in the hands of the auction house. So if you have larceny in your heart, forget it. It's gone. Okay. Uh, so it's uh, research. Oh yeah, research has revealed that this is the largest, I mean, I'm sorry, the second largest plaster nugget found in California that is still in existence today. It is surpassed only by the Mojave nugget, also found with a detector, at 100 ounces. So, uh, what's it worth? <laughs> well, pre-sale estimates put this as going for between 250 and $400,000. That's right. You're looking at a quarter of a million dollars in gold that I'm holding in my hand right now. Now that is retirement for sure. So to sum it up, let's have some disclaimers. I did not find it. I do not have possession of it. The finder did not have it. Um, I don't know the finder's name except uh, I call him Mr. Smith. Uh, I don't even know where he lives. I have a P.O. box. That's all I know. So. Um, it's, it's on its way, actually, by the time you see this, like I said, it will be gone already. Um, so he obviously wants to remain anonymous. Um, he has graciously allowed me to, to be his spokesman for the publicity for my business, Comstock Metal Detectors, and also in the hopes that it will spur detector sales and interest nationwide, and worldwide for that matter. So uh, videos, uh, this video rather, and any uh, still photos. There are some still photos of it being dug up. Those will be available and uploaded to my website shortly. Uh, that is diggerbob.com. So, uh, that's about all there is. I just wanted to show this to you and I want you to take this away from this presentation. Don't give up. They're still out there. Okay. Buried treasure in all its forms is still there and it's still being found today. Follow the three P's. Persistence, patience, perseverance. Keep at it. Keep the dream alive. Okay? Thanks so much, and we'll see you soon.